Hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. Oh, how Jesus is a very present help in time of need. 
What a wonderful Jesus we serve. He is our strength. He is our rock. Can we spend a few moments just praising him? Come on, uh, let's just do this together. In your homes, wherever you are, would you just worship him? Just lift up the name of Jesus. Just begin to say, Jesus, I love you so much. Just begin to say, Jesus, I adore you. Jesus, I love you. Just open up your voices. Uh, just let the voices out. Begin to say out loud in your homes. Jesus, you are awesome. Jesus, you are amazing. You are my strength. You are my fortress. You are the very present help in time of need. And so let's just praise him together. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let heaven witness our fellowship here on earth this Saturday evening. And let heaven witness that we are here worshiping together the precious, precious name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we adore you. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we exalt you. Jesus, we magnify your holy name. Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, you are the name above every other name. There is no other name greater than your name. Jesus, you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Jesus, you are the bread of life. You came you came from heaven hallelujah the word of God became flesh Jesus we praise you hallelujah 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 Jesus we magnify you hallelujah isn't it great praise is pleasant praise is beautiful it is good to praise our living God and it is awesome for all his children to come together and praise him this evening let's worship him from the bottom of our hearts thank you Jesus oh we thank you for you have borne us in the wings of eagles and you have preserved us you have kept us you have saved us you have blessed us you have enriched us you have opened the eyes of our heart you have enlightened us you have touched us you have blessed us we worship you Jesus hallelujah 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 we thank you thank you Jesus we thank you hallelujah that in you all things are that outside of you there's nothing that there is and we thank you Jesus hallelujah we praise you bless your holy name hallelujah 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 alpha and omega we praise you king of kings and lord of lords hallelujah we praise you blessed be the name of the most high god isn't it good to praise jesus amen i pray that everywhere in your homes that together we're going to praise him that we'll see the angels of the living god with us uh, angels of the living God joining with us when they see that we are we are looking in awe to the glorious face of Jesus. You know, we're looking at who Jesus is and how much he reveals himself to us. Jesus Christ is a good God. Jesus Christ is a just God. Jesus Christ is our everlasting father. Oh, how we praise you, praise you, praise you, praise you, praise you, bless you, worship you, adore you, love you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. Oh, we we thank you Elohim El Shaddai Adonai Yehovah Nissi the Lord our victory banner we praise you Yehovah Rapha the Lord that heals us we praise you Yehovah Sid Kenu the Lord our righteousness we praise you Yehovah Roy the Lord my shepherd we praise you Yehovah El Roy you're the Lord who sees everything we praise you we praise you Yehovah Makadesh the Lord who sanctifies us Yehovah God we worship you maker of the heavens and earth God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob we worship you God who carried the children of Israel Israel. God who blessed them we love you for you are the same yesterday today and forever you said I will never leave you nor forsake you lo I am with you to the ends of the age and we thank you Jesus for your abiding presence we praise you Holy Spirit for your wonderful for your abiding presence we thank you Holy Spirit for you are our comforter our strengthener our standby the one who is alongside us the one who is with us we praise you precious God that you said you would be with us you would be upon us that you would be in us we thank you for your anointing that anoints us with fresh oil I thank you 
that there's fresh oil available this Saturday evening for every one of us. We thank you. Oh, how we thank you, Holy Spirit God, for you are the spirit of adoption. You are the spirit by which we cry out, Abba, Father, Holy Spirit God, we thank you. Oh, how we thank you that as many as are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. We thank you that you are leading us, guiding us, strengthening us. We thank you that you're the spirit of power. We praise you. Spirit of grace, we praise you. Spirit of truth, we praise you. Spirit of power, we praise you. Hallelujah, we praise you. Spirit of wisdom we praise you spirit of counsel we praise you spirit of might we praise you spirit of understanding we praise you spirit of the fear of the lord we praise you spirit of lord we praise you son of god we praise you jesus hallelujah we praise you jesus we praise you jesus hallelujah lion of the tribe of judah we praise you lamb of god we praise you alpha and omega we praise you first and last we praise you hallelujah you said i wa- i was and i am we praise you and I, I i will be coming soon and god i thank you that you was and is and is to come we praise you for you are the living god you are the mighty god you are the great god powerful God. Oh, we worship you, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Come on, joining me in just lifting up the name of Jesus upon this earth, upon our lives. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For you are the mediator between man and God. You are the advocate in the presence of God. When enemy comes to accuse us, we have an advocate. We thank you, Jesus, for your presence in our life, for your power in our life, for your blood that you shed on the cross of Calvary. We thank you that the gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God. We thank you that the cross of Jesus Christ, the blood shed on the cross, of Jesus Christ is the power of God. We thank you for the power of God is made available for every one of us tonight. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, we worship you. We lift up your name over all the earth. We thank you that all authority in heaven and earth belongs to you, Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, that you are the precious one. You are the Holy One. You are the Messiah, the Anointed One who who was slain, the Lamb of God slain for us before the foundation of the world. That you rose again the third day and that we are seated with you in the heavenly places. Thank you for all the spiritual blessings with which we are blessed. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Isn't it good that the Bible says we shall enter his courts with praise and his gates with praise and his courts with thanksgiving. It's so good to enter. Amen. With praise and thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Let me, let me also just quickly pray for everyone that's here. Uh, pray. Uh, we're going to pray over the nation real quick. We're going to pray over this coronavirus situation again. We keep pressing. We keep praying. We keep believing. We know Jesus Christ has won the victory even over this. And we want to celebrate all that Jesus has done on the cross. And also we want to celebrate for all that Jesus has done in your lives. He has protected you. has kept you. He has kept you from harm's way. So Father, we thank you. For your hand upon everyone that's watching. Father, I pray for everyone. Lord, I pray that the anointing of the Spirit of God will cover them from the head to toe. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. I'm praying for everyone that's watching. No spirit of infirmity. No coronavirus is permitted to come near you in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray your supernatural fire and presence come upon every one of us. Engulf us in your fire. Lord, you alone be a protection round about us. Let the flame of fire, fire of the Holy Spirit, Come upon every one of our heads, anointing, fall upon our heads in a special way. And let our cup run over tonight. Hallelujah. Let our hearts be filled with joy. Let our mind be filled with peace. Let our hearts be filled with the blessing of the Almighty God. Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank you for United Kingdom. We pray, O God, for a release of a wave of anointing over the United Kingdom. I pray lives are saved up and down this country. 
I pray that we are able to reach the people up and down this country. I pray in the name of Jesus that every blinding spirit, every opposing, oppressing evil spirits holding the lives of the people, we command it to let go in Jesus' name. We call forth the sons and daughters of God from the north, south, east and west and we command them, we say come in to the kingdom of God. I pray let there be a new season of the ushering in of the, of the children of God. Let there be People coming in from the north, south, east and west from all directions getting saved in Jesus name. Father, we stand in the gap for this nation. We're praying, Father. We are praying in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We're asking for the nations of the world. Lord, I pray this nation shall be saved. I pray in Jesus name that the government would have the wise counsel. I pray that the government would move in the, in the wisdom of God, every demonic wisdom. Every attack of the red dragon evil spirit, every serpent evil spirit stirring up the fear. We bind and arrest its function in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We curse coronavirus to its roots in the name of Jesus. We say coronavirus die in Jesus name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God let your power, let your mercy, let your grace. Let your, let your love be seen and known. Let the manifest presence of God be seen and known all over, all over. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. I pray for every frontline worker. I pray for everyone in the frontline, doctors and nurses and, and transportations and supermarket and care workers. Everyone, Father, I pray that your grace would be upon them, protect them, preserve them. Father, thank you for wonderful care workers, wonderful frontline and nature stuff that's in our church. Father, I pray that you protect them, bless them, pour a special anointing over their life to just get through this season with the with a great, great grace uh, of God backing them. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless everyone that's watching. Father, in Jesus' name, I rebuke every infirmity, every sickness that is touching the hearts and lives of people. I pray, especially for those that are alone. I pray for also for those that have are struggling with depression and a, and a, and a, and just feeling downcast in the season. I pray in Jesus' name. Every oppressing uh, regression, every downcast evil spirit, every depression evil spirits, I command you to get out of the lives of the people. I pray that people would become uh, liberated in the presence of God. And I pray that, that God, that they would have wisdom, uh, the spirit of wisdom would come upon them uh, as to how to operate in this time. I pray for all those that are in the... Um, Swings of the emotional issues, uh, swings of the, the where the emotions controlling. The, I pray in the name of Jesus that they would see the light of the power of the Spirit of God, that they will live by the Spirit and not by the emotions. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that the will of everyone that's watching will submit to the voice of God. I pray that our mind will subject ourselves to the Word of God, that our eye gates and our ear gates will not uh, subject ourselves to uh, uh, unwarranted things, but it would heed the voice of God. Father, I pray that in this season that our hearts will be filled by your hope, filled by your faith, filled by your love, that we will not be swayed in this circumstance. Father, I pray that our strength will remain in the middle of adversity. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray, strengthen your people. Let everyone that is downcast be filled with laughter and joy. Let their emotions just turn around and, 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 and Father, let them be led by the Spirit of God, Spirit of wisdom, Spirit of understanding. Let the light of God's word shine upon their area. Every bondage of the devil we destroy in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that you have heard us. I bless everyone that's watching. In Jesus' most holy name, amen. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So tonight we're going to uh, watch a wonderful message brought to us by Pastor John. So it's a blessing to have Pastor John preach for us tonight. So um, let's listen to this wonderful message that Pastor John is bringing. Good evening, everyone. It's really good to be with you. Thank you for joining us. And we pray that as we listen into the Word of God, that we'll all be truly blessed and inspired by the Word tonight. I'm going to be looking at the subject of loyalty to God. Loyalty 
to God. And in particular, we're going to be looking at two kings from the Old Testament. Now, today, as we face these uncertain days of trials and difficulties, where suddenly out of nowhere, the world has been hit by this terrible virus and it's knocked us off our feet. And here we are in lockdown, wondering if ever or whenever things are going to get back to some kind of normality. Well, I want to tell you something. Whenever things get out of control and we can't see the way forward, we need to begin to look up and keep our eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me tell you that God is in control in these days. Yes, God is in control. He sees all the ways of men. He ponders all his paths and nothing escapes his attention. Yes, our God is in control, even if we don't sense that. He really is. But where does that leave us today as the people of God? And what does our God expect from us? I believe that God is looking for loyalty. I believe he's looking for loyal hearts towards him. In the book of 2 Chronicles 6 and verse 19, it says these words, For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth, to show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is loyal to him. He wants devoted, faithful and unwavering hearts today. Amen? Never give up on God, no matter what life may throw at you, no matter how things turn out, no matter how bleak things look, God is looking for loyal followers, people who are committed to walking in his ways, following his commands, people who put their trust only in him and stand on his word, absolutely stand on his word. God is for you today. Let me say he's for you. I want you to trust him today and believe the word of God for you and your family. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, you know, in every trial and tribulation, we, as the people of God, have a hope. And as the old hymn says, we have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure why those billows roll. Fastened to the rock, which cannot be moved, grounded firm and deep in the Saviour's love. Jesus is our only hope. And the Bible says in Psalm 146 verse 5, Happy is he who has the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. God has his eye on you right now, as we can see in some of these verses of scripture I'm going to share with you. First of all, in Job chapter 34 verse 21, it says... For his eyes are on the ways of man, and all that he sees are his steps before him. Proverbs 15 verse 3 says, The eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and on the good. Jeremiah 32 19 says, For your eyes are open to all the ways of the sons of men, to give everyone according to his ways, and according to the fruit of his doings. And Proverbs 5.21 says, For the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he ponders all his paths. And that means he's really weighing up all our pathways before him. Want to uh, have a look at uh, these two kings now in the Old Testament. And the first king that we're going to look at is King Asa from Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, chapter 14 uh, and verse 2. And we find there that King Asa uh, did what was good and right in the eyes of the Lord. King Asa did what was good and right in the eyes of the Lord his God. So all was really going well for King Asa and his people because he did what was good and because he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. And the Bible says that the Lord God gave King Asa rest 
all around. In other words, rest from fighting and wars. He had rest all around him. And the reason for that was because King Asa sought the Lord. He put him first in his life. He wanted to do what was right before God. He inquired of God. His focus was on God to see him through. Now, the king had been busy building fortified cities in Judah. And he had no wars in those years. But however, things were about to change. We're going to pick up the story uh, from 2 Chronicles 14 uh, and verse 2. Let's go there now. 2 Chronicles 14 and verse 2. Here we go. As uh, here we go, uh, King Asa did what was good and right in the eyes of the Lord his God. Moving straight over to verse eight, and Asa had an army of three hundred thousand men from Judah who carried shields and spears, and from Benjamin two hundred and eighty thousand men who carried shields and drew bows. All these were mighty men of valor. Next, it says in verse 9, Then Zerah, the Ethiopian, came out against them with an army of, listen to this, wait for it, one million men, an army of one million men. With 300 chariots, he came to the place called Marashar. So Asa the king went out against him, and they set the troops in battle array in the valley of Zephathar at Marashar. Now, in verse 11, we see what happened next. But before I get there, let me just tell you this. It looks like the enemy has the advantage in numbers. They had 420,000 more soldiers than King Asa. And secondly, the enemy had another advantage area because King Asa hadn't been out to war for a long time. So you could say he might have been a, bit, a little bit rusty in that area. But King Asa had two strengths. Number one, he had God on his side. Number two, he had an army of mighty men of valour. So we see in verse 11 that both armies went out to battle. And we see next what happened. So verse 11 of 2 Chronicles 14. And Asa cried out to the Lord his God and said, Lord, it is nothing for you to help whether with many or with those who have no power. Help us. O Lord our God, help us, for we rest on you, our God. And in your name we are going against this multitude. O Lord, you are our God. Do not let men prevail against you. So there we see how King Asa came before the Lord, before he uh, engaged in battle against the enemy. He prayed to God. He cried out to God because he knew that his own strength, he wasn't in, uh, able to face this foe. He recognised his dependence on God, not on his own strength. And he cried out to God and the Bible says, and then God moved into action. And the enemy of a million men, of a million soldiers, was defeated by a much smaller army. Because God came into the situation. Because the King Asa had brought God into the situation by putting God first. Now 2 Chronicles 15 verse 17, if you turn the page, it says this. King Asa was loyal all his days. King Asa was loyal all his days. Not just for a period of time was he loyal, but the Bible says all of his days he was loyal. He remained steadfast to his God. He was loyal to God and therefore he was blessed by God for his loyalty. Now I want to quickly move on to the second king that I want to talk about. And that is King Jehoshaphat. So 2 Chronicles uh, 17 is just a few pages over, possibly there. And we're going to look at verse 3. 
and it says there, now the Lord was with Jehoshaphat because he walked in the former ways of his father David. He did not seek the Baals, but he sought the God of his father and he walked in his commandments. Therefore, the Lord established his kingdom in his hand and he had riches and honour in abundance. Let's move to key, the key verse, which is number, uh, verse number six uh, of 2 Chronicles 17. Verse six says, And his heart took delight in the ways of the Lord. I like that verse. Let me read it again. And his heart took delight in the ways of the Lord. That is an amazing verse. Can I ask you a question tonight? Do you take delight in the ways of the Lord? Do you delight in worshipping your God, in honouring your God, in following after your God? I trust that you do. Now, King Jehoshaphat, number one, he spent time seeking after God. Number two, he also walked in his statutes and his commandments. Number three, the king delighted himself in all the ways of the Lord. Number four, his eyes were on the Lord his God. And number five, he was always faithful and loyal to God all of his days. Today, I want to say now is the time for us to pray. Now is the time to get our house in order, to get our lives straightened out. Now is the time to bring together our families under the word of God. Now is the time for us in this day and in this season to seek the Lord our God like never before. Now is the time to strengthen yourself in the Lord. Now is the time to get grounded in the word of God. Remember this, the verse I mentioned earlier, it said God is looking for those who will remain loyal and faithful to him come what may. 2 Chronicles 16 verse 9, for the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is loyal towards him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now King Jehoshaphat loved the Lord and was loyal and he was faithful to God. He walked in the commandments of the Lord. And the Bible says he sought the Lord and his heart took delight in the ways of the Lord. That is awesome. He took delight in the ways of the Lord. Psalm 37 verse 3 and 4 says, Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord. Yes, delight yourself tonight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart amen trust in the Lord do good dwell in the land feed on his faithfulness delight yourself in the Lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart back to King Jehoshaphat what happened next was this he was told that an army was advancing against him but not any ordinary army was coming against him. In fact, there were three armies coming against him. The Bible says from beyond the sea, from Syria, three armies. Now, who wouldn't be shaking in their boots that kind of news? Going to 2 Chronicles chapter 20 now and verse 3. It says that King Jehoshaphat feared at that moment now he knew that he was in real trouble what did he do well he did what perhaps me and you would do in that kind of situation the bible says he feared he feared because an enemy was coming upon him but what he did next was the bible says he set himself to seek the lord he set himself to seek the lord he proclaimed a fast 
throughout the whole of the land of Judah. After the fast had taken place, the word of the Lord came along and it said, O king, you will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourselves and stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. That must have been real encouraging news for the king to hear, that he didn't have to fight this battle, but the Lord was going to step in and fight for him. Position yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, who is with you, O Judah, and Jerusalem. Now what King Jehoshaphat did next is very interesting. He decided that he was going to get singers and musicians. For all of you, those who are in the worship teams uh, these days, this is for you. He appointed singers and musicians to go out before the invading army. How do you fancy doing that? Getting your instruments and your singing voices to go on and stand out in front of a vast army that was coming against you. But they did that and they sang like this. Praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. And they carried on singing. Praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. Now when they began to sing and to praise, what happened next? Well, God began to move. God stepped on the scene. God came into the picture. The Bible says the Lord set ambushes against the opposing army. When, and it was only when, they began to sing and to praise and to worship, only then God moved. He set ambushes against the opposing army and they were defeated. They were defeated. Can we see here how praise and worship to the Lord brings victory? Amen. Now here's just a reminder of what we can learn from King Jehoshaphat. Number one, King Jehoshaphat spent time seeking God. Number two, he also walked in the statutes and the commandments of the Lord his God. Number three, he delighted himself in all the ways of God. Number four, his eyes were fixed on the Lord, his God. And number five, he was faithful. He was loyal to God. The same thing happened, as you remember, when we spoke about King Asa. He himself in 2 Chronicles 15, 17, we saw there that the heart of that king, King Asa, was loyal all his days. Not just for that period of time, but all his days he remained loyal and steadfast to God. He was loyal to God and he was blessed by God. I want for us to say, I want to, uh, to say to us tonight, let us stand together. Let us as a people of God be steadfast, be loyal in these days. Truly seeking him, keeping our eyes fixed on him and trusting him in him as well. Whether you're anxious or worried about your future tonight, let me say, look to the Lord. Whether you're struggling with your finances, look to the Lord. Whether you're concerned about your job, look to the Lord. Whether you're concerned about your health, look to the Lord. Whether you're concerned about your family, look to the Lord. Whatever it is, give it to him. And look to the Lord your God. Amen. In any trial or tribulation, we have a hope. As the old hymn says, I'll remind you again, we have an anchor. We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while those billows, billows roll. Fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded, firm and deep. In the Saviour's love. We need to learn to lean on the Lord and to cast all our cares on him. Psalm 52 verse 22 says, Cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never 
permit the righteous to be moved. Amen and hallelujah to that. 1 Peter 5, 7 says this, Cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. He really does. He cares for you tonight. Jesus Christ is our only hope in these days of uncertainty. The Bible says again in Psalms 146 verse 5, Happy is he who has the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Remember I said before, a little earlier, now is the time to, to pray. Now is the time to get our house in order. Now is the time to get our lives straightened out. Now is the time to bring our families together under the word of God. Now is the time to seek the Lord like never before. Now is the time to strengthen your hearts. Strengthen yourself in the Lord. Now is the time to become grounded in his word like never before. God, tonight, he is looking for those. Those who will remain faithful and loyal to him, come what may. Today, if fear comes knocking on your door, don't allow fear to overwhelm you. Run to your father. He's waiting there for you. Psalm 27 and verse 5 says, For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle. He shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. Isaiah 41 verse 10 says, Fear not, my children, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am am your God. I will strengthen you. I will hold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 40 verse 28 to 31 says this, have you not known, have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth? He is neither fainting nor is he weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and to those who have no might. He increases strength. Even the youth, they will faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They'll run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. And remember tonight, on Christ, the solid rock, I stand. Say that tonight with yourself and your family. Gather everyone around and say tonight, we are going to stand on the rock of Christ. Christ, the solid rock, I will stand all other ground is just sinking sand. Today, know that you are his. Be loyal and faithful to God in all your ways. Put all your hope in him. Put all your trust in him. And he will see you through it all. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Keep your eyes on the Lord. What yes. a wonderful message. Amen. Seek the Lord. Amen. Like amen. The King Asa. Asa and yeah. Asa. Asa. And Jehoshaphat. Yes. Amen. I was I, the the Christ Harvest comments are from me. It's such it's such a joy. I don't get to do this, but I was there and taking notes. So I just kept putting up those comments there. So good to have you all. Like I could get, I, I could see who else is watching with me. That's awesome. That's like a special treat for me. So I'm just here commenting. Amen. Amen. And Pastor John just finished. Pastor John, thank you so much for that. Yes. Hallelujah. And what a word that was. Amen. And in this time and season, what we have to be is loyal and faithful. Yes. In the presence of God. We know he is good. He is great. This is the time now more than every other time. To look upon Jesus, to look 
upon his glorious face. Hallelujah. To get this is now the time. I mean, I love it how Pastor John put it. Now is the time yes. uh, to get your family together. Now is the time to get grounded in the word of God. Now is the time. Hallelujah. I love that. I love that. I love yes. that. Thank you so much for sharing that precious word. I'm sure lives are touched and blessed by that wonderful word. So go ahead and share this. It's a blessing to share it's the a truth. Message. Yes. I just love sitting here and typing it out. So my notes are out there on, on FB. Praise God. You're ready for the communion. Yes. Let's take part in the communion together. Amen. Let us partake this, this bread where it represents the body of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. This bread, Amen. this represents the body of Christ. Yes, Jesus Lord. died on the cross. Mm -hmm. You know, when we partake this communion, we actually say in Jesus, we, we, uh, we, we know that you died on the cross 2000 Amen. years ago. Amen. We value that sacrifice. Amen. We, we respect mm -hmm. what you have done. We thank you. For yes. what you have done yes, on 2000 years ago that you broke your body for us Hallelujah. it should have been us and when Amen. we partake this we will remember yes lord this sacrifice yes. still is second coming yes. and we know that his second coming is so soon yes so we will partake in the way that we will remember Hallelujah. the sacrifice and we will remember it till his coming amen amen, amen. hallelujah amen. this cup represents the blood of jesus christ he took this cup, Jesus took this cup mm -hmm. and gave it to the disciples and mm -hmm. said, take drink, mm -hmm. this cup represents the blood of mine. And he said to the disciples and, and mm -hmm. gave it to them. Mm -hmm. And we today, we do the same thing what disciples did, mm -hmm. even after Jesus ascended yes. to heaven. Yes. People every day in Acts of Apostles, you can see that they broke the bread and took the cup Hallelujah. and they remembered the sacrifice Jesus did. And today we are doing Amen. the same thing that we remember Hallelujah. the sacrifice Jesus did 2000 years ago. And we will remember it till the second coming. Yes. This Hallelujah. precious blood, this cup represents the precious blood of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now is the time, more yes. than ever before, to not doubt God, not to criticize God, not to say, where is God? Now is the time. We begin to experience His goodness more and more, experience His hand more and more. And listen, the eyes of the Lord are going to and fro on this earth, hallelujah, to yes. show Himself strong. So God is going to show Himself strong to those that are loyal to Him. And faithful to him who keep his word and who keep his commandments. Hallelujah. Who keep his word. So we, we just we just are the, that people that, uh, that we have this opportunity to just spend that time in prayer and an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory um, to God. So we'll like, see. I like uh, the way Pastor John said, mm -hmm. um, we stand on the rock. Which, solid rock. Solid rock, which is Jesus Christ. Yes. And remaining everything is... Is the sand? Yes. I mean, I think he he said similar words. Yeah. Uh, but that was wonderful. That was Amen. that was very powerful. Yes. No matter what, we stand mm -hmm. on the word. We Amen. stand on on the voice of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. May the may the Lord bless you and keep yes, you. Lord. May the Lord make His face shine upon you and be yes, gracious Lord to you. Lord Jesus. May He lift up His countenance upon you and give you grace, peace, joy. Yes, Lord. And let his holy let the holy spirit the counsel the counsel of the holy spirit Hallelujah. be upon you yes. let the let the spirit of wisdom Hallelujah. counsel my knowledge yes. be so Lord powerfully Jesus. upon you that yes. you, whatever you do you will be guided by the holy spirit and you will be always be successful yes, your children are blessed you are blessed and i pray Hallelujah. blessing of heaven upon you and yes, your family Lord in jesus, jesus name Amen. 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 Amen.